Hi, I'm James, creator and founder of Odie's Oil, and today I'm going to show you how to use Odie's Wax to finish this beautiful piece of purple heart. You're going to need two tools, a white pad and a rag. Quite simple. Odie's Wax is a hard wax. Very, very dense. You'll see, really takes some energy to pull the wax out of the jar. This is a piece that we finished probably almost a year ago. Odie's wax, in this case, I'm using it as a top coat. The wax can be used for a standalone finish as well as a top coat over any of our other finishes. What you're gonna do is take your white pad, put it in the jar, and just moisten the rag or the white pad with the wax. And you'll see, I've got a small amount of wax here. And then what I'm gonna do is work it in in circular motions. I'm not spreading it on like a putty or anything. It's just that very, very light film that's going into the wood. And the key is just to get your applicator just lightly moistened with the wax. I don't have giant clumps of it. I barely took anything out of the jar. This jar here will cover probably about a thousand square feet on most domestic woods. That's a long, long way. So a jar of Odie's wax is gonna last you a very, very long time. I use the wax for high-end pieces, more of a, a show piece. It's more of a, a tune-up of the finish. It's not a necessary step, um, but it is something that will just make your finish prettier. So notice the very, very light haze on the piece right now. Just enough to leave a little film, a little smudge. You see that? That's all I need on there. So I got the whole piece covered. Just going over it one more time to ensure I didn't miss anything. As you can see, look at the purple, the rich purple that's come out of this, this wood since we put the wax on it. So the wax is applied to the surface. We're gonna break for about two hours, take a lunch, um, and we'll be back and we'll buff the piece off completely and show how the buffing process is done. We let this set up for a good 90 minutes, more like two hours, um, and that's what I want you to do. I want you to let the wax set up for at least 90 minutes. It all depends on how dry your weather is. So, I'm gonna go ahead, what I need, my main tool is a cotton terry towel. An old bath towel works the best. I advise you to do it at least three, four, five times. Get it down pat by hand. And me personally, all my furniture, I do my initial buff off by hand, and then after I know all the finish is off the surface, I'll hit it with a machine. The big no-no is do not hit it with the machine first. If you hit it with machine, You'll load the pad up really quick, the bonnet, and then you'll just be smearing more wax or more oil over the surface, and you won't be able to get the finish off the surface. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a clean terry towel, and I'm gonna scrub the wax off the surface, just like I do with the oil. Same process for all the Odie's finishes. And I always make sure my towel is clean. I don't want to use a dirty side of the towel to scrub the wax off, because I'll just be adding more wax to the surface. Be sure to flip it every off so often, and make sure all that wax is coming off. And we just added some nice sheen to this Purple Heart piece. I now got all the excess, the bulk of the wax off the surface by hand. Now I can take a polisher and hit it just to make sure I get every last bit of it off and to finally polish it out. It's not a necessary step, but you can do it if you want to. This is a gem polisher, my favorite sander. This is my favorite tool for sanding, and it's also great for buffing off the final coat of Odie's oil, or even buffing the coat of oil, Odie's oil into the surface. And when I'm done, 
My bonnet should be clean. It shouldn't be dirty. If it's dirty, that means I left too much wax on the surface to begin with. I essentially got all that wax off with the cotton towel by hand. And then I came back with a clean bonnet just to ensure I got it all off and do the final polish out. And it's beautiful. Tomorrow, or within a couple hours, I'll probably come back and just wipe it down one more time to get any excess residual that may have uh, lifted to the surface. And after that, this piece, it will be bulletproof. And in many years to come, it'll be gorgeous. Thank you for watching our video on how to apply Odie's wax. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. We're always here to help. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one.